We're live. <laughs> Just popped right up. That was quick. All right. Hey guys, it's Friday night. Night fun with the rotens, I guess. Here. We decided, yeah, pushing the cool air over here. But, but. in all truthfulness, the past year it has been a little warmer than it has been this year. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem it like it's been quite as hot this year as it normally has been in July. So. Yeah, yeah, but um, and not as many days at, at, to me. Doesn't seem like you know last year this time we'd already had you know a month over a hundred degrees. Yeah. This right. year it seemed like it's only been the last couple of weeks. And anyway. I'm glad I'm, I find it hard to catch my breath. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Bull. Hey, Bull. Um, hey, everybody. All right. We got lots to cover tonight. So I just want to let people get in here. Uh, we're going to do a couple. Hans from Sweden is here. Han? Hans? Hans. Hans from, from Sweden. Sweden. Hey, Hans. How are you? Um, all right, so we're doing a couple giveaways, more flashlights. So this is the kind of the grand prize giveaway tonight. And I, I'm hoping this thing works. <laughs> I think I have to take the tab out. It says try me. So. Yeah, I think it does. I, I should have tried this. I tried the other one. Let me see here. Oh, man. That figures. It does work. I will make sure that it works. Let's see. Here, you play you with it. You go ahead talk and I'll play with it and see. There, there's probably a tab inside inside the battery thing. A lot of times they do that. Nope, not that. No. The battery's at the no, other I end. Know. I'm okay. just, all right. I'm just playing with it. Go okay. ahead. All right. All right. All right. So, anyway, we're giving that away. Okay. And and there is another flashlight. This is the one I know works. So this one is, a, that's kind of a wide view. And then that one is kind of a beam. And uh, it's got magnet on the bottom. And then uh, it has an actual clip on. Yeah, see, I knew it. It had, it yeah. had a little protector in there. A little protector, a little. Okay. Um, so we're giving these away here in a little bit. Information here in a few minutes. When we give those away, oh, there we boy. go. That works. Yeah, that's right. Can and you it, see that on camera? Yeah. Okay. It goes from small to, to big. Spotlight, yeah. 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 Heck of a great, flashlight. Great flashlight. It also would Good work as a club. Good weapon, yes. All right. I'm going to put this in the box, so if you win it, you get it. All right. In a minute here. All right. So uh, a couple things I want to go over. we got lots to go over, but a couple uh, of the demos have an issue with some layout letters. I'm going to try to bring this down a little bit. Keep talking. Um and we have been using Clarendon layout letters for years and years and years, but we have other fonts now. So I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because it was something that, um, that I kind of learned early on when we started using Bookman letters. And these are the, the Bookman letters. And this, is, uh, this was the issue. And if Frank is here, yes. you, you, can, uh, you can talk to him about it too. So if you look at the... This is the printout of the Bookman font. If you look at the S, you will see that those lines, like a lot of these lines don't... You're backwards. Why are you holding that backwards? <laughs> if you look at these lines, they sorry, are, guys. They are they slanted. Sorry, guys. They Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, we're not, we don't have the Wi-Fi on, right? I don't know. Um, so these lines are not supposed to be straight up and down like they are on the Clarendon. The Clarendon letters, 
there these sides are supposed to be basically at 90 degrees to the baseline but on the bookman they need to be they need to be uh, slanted like all of the other letters like I mean, if you look at the, yeah, the e the f the g the c the t they all have a slant to them so definitely do not put those that s straight upright where that is a uh, where those flats are 90 degrees to the baseline because then it'll be crooked. You can ask Frank about that. Anyway, it, it, it is kind of tricky. They're a great looking letter, but it kind of is kind of tricky. So I wanted to bring that to your guys' attention and uh, Frank could tell you more about it. But that's the difference between the, the Bookman and you can see on the Clarendon, Everything is pretty much square, 90 degrees straight up and down. The sides of the T's, the S, the you know the L's. Everything is pretty much straight up and down. Anyway, guys, that's just a kind of a tip. If you have the Bookman layout letters, uh, really keep that printout with you. Put it right by your layout uh, area so you guys can double check, make sure those letters aren't tilted, aren't crooked on you. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Um, second question. This one was from Brian Sperry. And he said, I have a question about how you do your edge on your signs with a 45 degree chamfer bit. What depth do you, uh, what depth do you do the edge on the front versus what edge do you do on the back of the sign? I saw a video where you said you cut deeper on the front and less on the back. I tried it, but it didn't look right to me. So on the back of the signs, we always have, we've always done just a, just a slight chamfer. And the yeah, eighth of an inch chamfer is all you need on the back. And so why did, why did you start doing that way back when? Well, simply because when I cut the board, uh, there was always a little burr at the edge, and there was always a chance of, you know, getting a splinter. So I just started just cutting a little chamfer on the back of the signs. And then on the front of the signs, I took the cutter down to almost full depth and I did the scalloping. You, so, yeah, you much prefer the scalloping. I prefer the bevel, but yeah, that's just a... right. I prefer the scalloping. That's what I did when I started the signs. And uh, for 20 years, the signs I made, I, I made scallop signs. And I always preferred the bevel. So what I did was I, um, I did a uh, that little uh, anchor that I cut last night. I took that same piece and I did four different depths of bevel. I like a big deep border around there. That's what I like. Uh, the bigger the sign, the bigger. Oh, the bigger the sign, the deeper I like the bevel. Now this has this has some waves in it because the back of the board, it was a scrap, and I, I'll show you here in a second. But you can see I started off really shallow here, went a little deeper there and a little deeper there. I like a, a heavy frame, a heavy black. To me, the bevel makes it look like the sign is almost in a frame, and that's, that's what I like. Dad likes the scallops, I like the bevel. Well, I like the rustic look of the scallop. I, I just think it, for a routed wood sign, I think it looks a little better, but that's just a personal preference. Yeah, it's just uh, that. But this, this is uh, an experiment I was doing. Most of my customers like it better too. Yeah, well, you don't have many customers anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, but I. The funny thing is, I used to give people a choice when I was up in Oatman, but um, because I think because most of the the samples were done with. Um, with the bevel, they seem to like that better. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so it's a personal preference, but I like a deep, uh, a deep bevel, and this is this uh, is really a good example of one that's got a, a big, heavy black frame. Now this was already done. This was those drawer fronts that I bought. It's piece of like cherry. a Roman OG. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and which uh, is a makes a nice frame. And I think it really makes a nice yeah. frame on there. I like that look. Um, but anyway, this was already done when I got it. It was a bunch of those door, or, uh, door fronts. 
But so to get back to the question, to get back to the question, it said you actually answered the back. Uh, why you put a slight chamfer on the back? Yeah, just to knock the burrs off. Make sure you don't get splares. Yeah, he said it didn't look right to him, but that's the cool thing. Make it your own. Do it however you want. If you want to do a heavy chamfer on the back and a slight chamfer on the front? Hey, it's you know, make it your own. But sure, you can use a round over on the back and use a forty-five degree on the front. Uh, just whatever looks good to you or whatever looks Frank good to your customers. Cup. What? Frank likes your cup. Your Bubba jug? The Frank city, likes your Bubba jug. That's you like my Bubba, Bubba? I do too. I hardly go anywhere without it. Even when I go to town, it rides right by me in my truck. Okay. So that is the, the couple demos that I wanted to do. Now, um, oh. Let's do uh, the first giveaway. So you're going to add... Uh, the little one? Yeah, the little, little one. All so right. this is what we're giving away right now. And Vicky is going to ask the question. All right, so guys. the first one Vicky sees, domestic only, guys. Sorry, domestic only. All right. So what was Dave's uh, profession before he became a sign carver? Oh, doom, doom. That'll get answered quick. I mean, Frank, yeah, Frank yeah. got it. Bull said to ignore him, so Frank got it. Bull said to ignore Frank? He did because he said he has enough French. No, no ignore his. Go right by his. Oh. Um, so, Bull, I'm ignoring you. Frank won. Somebody said a roadie. A roadie? <laughs> wow, everybody knew. I told you, people know Dad. Kevin what? Farley said stripper. <laughs> I did that too. You did get it first, Bull, but you told me to ignore you. <laughs> the second one will be. Frank a... said he was a machinist too. Yeah, Frank was. I knew Frank was a machinist as well. All right, Frank. Where do you go, Frank? It's coming to you, so you can use this as uh, Brian, when <laughs> Brian, somebody says jailbird. Oh, <laughs> Matt Bass is comedian. <laughs> so this will, uh, th we'll be sending this out to you, Frank. And um, J uh, Bull says I have enough flashlights. I, I think if, if, you, if you see me do this, you know I'm a grifter. A grifter. <laughs> That's from The Sting, right? Yeah, that's from yeah. The Sting. Yep. Uh, okay, so um, I want to talk a little bit about the, the sale that starts in it less... 8 o'clock. Pacific gotta, time. Pacific time. In gotta less than me, two hours. Yeah, got to give me time to get in there and make the changes. In less than two hours. These are what are on sale. Dad, you want to hold that up? These are these... Uh, the Tom... Set, template sets that Vicky put together. Uh, actually, a brand new product. They're on the website now, but they're priced at thirty dollars per pack. There's a dozen in each, and um, this is what they what they have. In case you don't know, I printed out some pictures down here somewhere. So this is the 2017. Brian, when did you put in your order? That's the 2017. This is the 2018. Oh, well, me, oh, oh okay. Move that. Yeah. That's 2017. Ooh, good job, Dad. Oh, yeah, Brian. Sorry, it did go out. 2018. And 2019. And 2019. Sorry, the pictures are kind of blurry. I screenshotted it and blew them up. But you can go right to the website, and I'm going to show you where to go because it's it gets a little tricky finding them uh, if you don't know how to find them. Uh, at least on a smartphone, on a regular computer, it's super easy. So on the regular computer, if you just go to makeawoodsign.com, this is the front page. There they are, right there, right underneath uh, whatever that says, beginner kit. Hold on.
front page, right there. Yes, that's if you're on a PC. Now, if you're on a mobile phone, it's a little tougher. Let me show you. If you're on a mobile phone, when you go to the front page, here's what you have to do. You got a couple choices. This is the front page on a mobile device, or at least it is on my iPhone. You've got a search box up here. Just type in Tom, T-O-M. And I, I think they can be capitals, but I think they can be lowercase too. When you do that, it'll take you right to them, all three of them. And that means template of the month. That's what it means. Yep, that's what it means. Or your all, the other alternative, which I really like, is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can go to the site map. And this is at the bottom of the page. Either Actually, it's at the bottom of the page either on a computer or on a smart device site map and then when you go to the site map the second item as soon as you click on that site map the second item is the tom uh category and then you click on there and all three of them will come up but the easiest way is a search window at the top that really is the easiest way if you're on a smartphone so that is uh that's that so those will be going um, Andy on. Andy said, if you turn your phone to turn your phone sideways, you yeah. can see it on the left hand side. No, are you kidding me? I don't know. Really? I don't have my phone. Yeah. I never tried that. <laughs> That's yes, a great it idea. Is a flashlight. <clears throat> That's a great idea. I'm gonna have to try that, Andy. Thank you. Huh? Never thought about turning my phone sideways. <sighs> that figures. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all right, that's the sales stuff. Uh, giveaway number two. All right, here we go. So before we uh, do the grand prize giveaway here, this is Danny Meadows' eBay store, Jim Price Auto. That's his eBay store. So definitely go check it. He's got, like, hundreds of different products, different flashlights, now he's got those uh, Skeeter uh, wristbands and different things like uh, mosquito repellent stuff. He's got knives, all kinds of cool knives. He's got all kinds of uh, just really cool stuff on there. So definitely go check him out. If you guys need a flashlight, go uh, check him out. Or if you need a gift for somebody else. Yeah. Um, uh, he, just, he just got such great stuff. Tom, no, the Big Eagle is not on sale. The only thing on sale is the 2017, 18, and 19 uh, packs. I think there's an eagle head in there somewhere, though. Yeah, there's an eagle I, head, but it's yeah. not the Big Eagle. But not, the not big that freedom. big uh, Not eagle. the Freedom Eagle. Yeah. yeah, not the Freedom Eagle. Okay, so here, you can you can play Vanna. Um, all right, so here's a, a trivia question. This day... In 1988, a very famous club shut down for the last time in Lansing, Michigan. What was that name of that club? This well, on this date. Oh, I... Andy got it. Andy. Andy? Littleton. Yeah. Playboy. Wow. The Playboy Club, the very last Playboy Club, shut down on this date. In 1988, in huh. Lansing, Michigan. I'll be darned. And I think there was, how many Playboy clubs were there all together? There must have been, a they lot. were all across the country. Uh, maybe, I don't know if they were worldwide or Stephanie the way they did. said he was guessing. <laughs> well, he guessed right, Steph. <laughs> and he just guessed? Mm -hmm. See? Look at there. He knows you guys well. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Good job, Andy. Yeah. I thought that, I thought that would go a little bit longer. But that was a. Yeah, he was the second guess. Good job, Andy. Pop, uh, Frank says, how do you know that, Andy? Yeah, how do you know, Andy? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Andy he was, was there. And he was kicked. there. Bull he said, was there on the last day and got kicked out. Bull said, uh, That's kind of what I was thinking, something like that. But Andy got it right. Huh. Andy, Andy nailed said, it. Fight Club. <laughs> Fight Club. All right, Andy, I'm shipping it off to you tomorrow. So, uh, Frank and Andy. Uh, I better write those down. Bob Bennett said Dave was there. 
Dad, you did go to a couple of Playboy clubs. Oh yeah, didn't I you? went to several of them. But uh, that was in Southern California. Yeah, Los Angeles yeah. on the Sunset Strip. Yeah. Scott Christie in Michigan. All right. Andy got the Andy big one. Andy said he, he won the trivia competition at work yesterday. <laughs> you're on a roll, Andy. Two days in a row, you're a big winner. Good job. All right, what else we got? Let's see. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, tomorrow morning, that, uh, Vicky and I will be on live Facebook 9 a.m. and uh, we'll, I'll, we'll be doing something. I don't know. But uh, even more importantly than that, tomorrow's senior moment is uh, Bull's idea to do an interview with Dad. And uh, we start that interview process tomorrow morning. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Interview with Dad tomorrow morning on senior moment. And the full, and being as we had so many questions, the full interview or the bigger version of the interview is going to be on Monday's video. Uh, we had a blast. I just, I absolutely loved it. You guys will really enjoy it. So tomorrow morning's uh, senior moment, it will be, I think, the first two questions and then uh, some more questions on Monday's video. I do want to mention, too, it has nothing to do with that, but I've got new material coming that I make these these shields that I put on my on the the uh, baseball caps. I've got new material coming. It's thicker, and it has a protective film on both sides. The material I'm using now doesn't have that protective film, and it has a tendency when I'm using the laser, gets a little bit of residue on it, and I have to wash it off. But on the newer ones, they'll be a little bit thicker, a little heavier. Basically the same design that they'll have the, the little film that you have to pull off. It's a protective film. So I should have that within, uh, I've ordered it. It should be here within a week. And so then all of the new peels that I make, I'll be making out of that new stuff. I still have some out of the old material. But the newer ones, when I get that material, the newer ones will be a little heavier duty, a little bit better, uh, a little bit better made. Same price. Um, you didn't tell the price on those. Oh, these are thirty dollars normal price. I thought I did, but they'll be on sale for fifteen dollars, fifty percent off, in a little over an hour and a half. Yeah, so you didn't mention that. I didn't. No. You did last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fifty percent off. For fifteen dollars, so it's a that's a screaming deal, uh, just a little over a dollar a piece, which is really good. They're uh, if you buy them individually, they're three dollars and fifty cents a piece. Anyway, uh, let's see. That is, uh, I think that's it, guys. We got any questions? Anything we need to answer for you? Let us know. Now would be the time. All right, good. Everybody, have a great night. And uh, we'll ship this stuff off in the morning. No. <laughs> Somebody said, ask if we could throw a carving liner in there. <laughs> if we what? <laughs> throw a carving liner in there. If you pay for it, I'll throw it in there. Yeah. You probably won't see the router bits on sale anytime like it, ever. It goes tonight at 8 o'clock until Sunday at eight, about 8 o'clock. Pacific time. Pacific Why is time. it that you don't put the router bits on sale? Because we don't make hardly any money exactly. on them. Exactly. We don't so, make enough on them to make it worthwhile to put them on sale. Yeah. So that's just the way we it is, guys. We have to lose money. And on, the, on the beginner's kit, the reason we can do a beginner's kit and, and make it a cheaper price is because the other stuff... Can you show those again, please? The other stuff, uh, we can, you know, we because we cut these. Do you want to see the pictures or? Okay. Those template sets are what's on sale. You can call me, John, tomorrow after 8 o'clock our time. Pacific time. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. Oh. So these are the sale items. There's 12 in each pack. And they were the template of the month for that particular, uh, for that year. year. For that year, 2017, 2018. 2019. Yes.
<laughs> you can put together your set, uh, your own set for the uh, 10 piece set, and it's not on this order. This is not, these are strictly what they are. Pam, call me if you can, or you can email me, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and order the uh, tw uh, 10 piece template set and then just leave me a note. Okay. Anything else? No. All right, guys. So, uh, like I say, Monday's video will be the bigger version of the interview. And then Wednesday, Hi, if everything works out right, then Wednesday will be uh, the next video on Vicky and I's uh, shelf project. Yep. So, we're running a little Email bit behind me, on Matt. that. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email Vicky. Email me, Eric at MakerwoodSign.com. Vicky with Dave Signs at Gmail.com. If you have questions for Dad, too bad. Um, <laughs> no, you can email Dad, Dave at DaveSigns.com, and um, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow morning over on Facebook, and uh, Dad. Senior. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time. Dad's Senior Moment will post at 3.30 a.m. Phoenix or uh, Pacific time in the morning. Say goodbye, Gracie. Good night, guys.